It was a surprise to no one that the Red Sox needed to get some help in the starting pitching department this offseason. While some prominent names remain unsigned, the team has managed to bolster the rotation with its loan acquisition in this area. That acquisition, Lucas Giolito. Lucas Giolito signed with the team in early January. He had been a perceived target at the trading deadline last season, instead going from White Sox to the Angels at the deadline, and then waived by the Angels when they fell out of real contention in the playoff race, only to be picked up by the Guardians off waivers to finish out the year. He started the year with the White Sox going 6-6 with a 3.79 ERA, but he tailed off after the trade deadline with a 2-9 record and an ERA that hovered close to 7 for the rest of the season. Much of that can be contributed to playing for three teams and being moved twice in the season. Couple that with some personal turmoil resulting from a divorce, his mixed results are easily explained. Taking a deeper look, he gives the team a strong arm, innings-eating, durable starter. The numbers bear this out. Since 2018, except for the 2020 COVID season, he has not pitched less than 161.2 innings, averaging over 170-plus innings during that time, including a career high of 184.1 innings last season. This is a huge addition to the Red Sox. The leaders for total innings pitched were Brian Bello with 157 and Nick Pavetta with 142.2 in a hybrid role that saw him lose his starting pitch role for the middle of the season. In a season that saw the use of two openers in late July and early August, his durability will be a welcome relief to an embattled pitching staff. His contract offers an opt-out after the first year, so he is betting on himself to bounce back and the Sox are incentivizing him to do so. This deal is a win-win for both sides and highlights the creative and sensible way that Craig Breslow has gone about rebuilding this team since taking over. Taking a look at the person, Giolito is six foot six and comes from Santa Monica, CA. He will turn 30 in July. Lucas had a most unique childhood growing up around Los Angeles. His late grandfather, Warren Frost, was an actor who appeared in Seinfeld and also other TV shows, such as Matlock and Twin Peaks. His mother, Lindsay Frost, like her father acted and was a regular on the TV soap opera As the World Turns and the drama Birdland. Giolito has on several occasions during interviews talked about going to work with his mom on the sound stages of Hollywood. As fun and interesting as that might have been for most of us, the thing that was really cool about his parents was that his dad, Rick, was in the video game industry. Before owning his own company, Rick worked for EA, Electronic Arts. Lucas would occasionally tag allow with his dad to the office and got a front row seat as to the development and production of video games. He credits that with his love of video games today. He never got the acting bug or followed in his dad's footsteps. Instead, he was a gifted pitcher and decided to follow his dream of playing baseball. With the Red Sox now working with a Netflix crew on a series involving the team, who knows Lucas might gain some Hollywood fame as a result. As the season approaches and the rotation gets sorted out, Giolito probably slots in as the number one or number two starter in the rotation. With a top three of Giolito, Pivetta, and Bello, the team now has the ability to have starters that can go six or seven innings and take the strain off the bullpen. Another important factor is durability, something Giolito has consistently proven throughout his career. This too bodes well for the team who battled inconsistency and injury over the last couple of years. Baseball Reference estimates the follow stat line for Giolito for 2024. Nine wins and 11 losses, an ERA of 4.66, throwing 168 innings, striking out 181 while walking 63, allowing 159 hits and 30 home runs. This translates to a whip of 1.321 as well as a strikeout to walk ratio of 2.87. Given that the Red Sox have been a better offensive team than the White Sox, we suspect that his win-loss record will improve, and working with pitching coach Andrew Bailey can only help him during the season. Add to that the nature of his contract and he will be out to prove himself, and that can only produce better and more positive results.